Hey guys, it's Chris Appleton, and today I'm going to show you how to create this 90s bombshell look. Follow these few simple steps and you'll have gorgeous, bouncy hair just like this. The most important part about a 90s look is to create the volume. So I'm going to prep the hair with some styling products. I'm going to use a color wheel, raise the root, and we're just going to spritz that all the way through the roots first, just to give the hair some volume. And then what we're going to do is use a smoothing product on the ends. So I'm going to use the Dream Coat on the ends. All right, so now the products are in the hair, I like to use this scalp care cushion paddle brush just because it really gets through the hair nicely and distributes the product. This instantly gets through and it actually feels really nice on the scalp. Okay, now we're ready to blow dry, guys. I'm going to use these two combined and go together. They're kind of a me machine. This hair dryer is carbon infused, so as you blow dry the hair, it takes away frizz, anti-static, and gives you a really smooth finish. Also, the round bristle brush does the same, so it actually has a carbon coating. Carbon effectively makes the hair much smoother, um, anti-static and gives you a great control. Now you'll notice this is a really big size. You need a big size barrel brush when you're creating a 90s blowout. The most important part about the look is getting a voluminous, sexy hair. It's that old fashioned kind of sexy blowout. And really I say old fashioned, it never goes out of fashion. It always comes back around. So we're gonna split the hair into four sections. This, for me, is the easiest way to get a good blowout. Trust me, I've tried and tested it all. So I'm gonna use a tail comb, work with your part, and then we're gonna go from crown area to the top of the ear. I'm gonna use a crocodile clip and just move that out of the way. Then we're gonna go from the crown to the nape of the neck, clip that out of the way, and then we're gonna repeat that on the other side. So effectively, you're gonna be working with four sections of hair. This will just help you guide your blow dry, get that perfect result, and also stop you getting in a fumbled mess. So we're not gonna dry the hair up, because effectively it's just gonna go frizzy and blast the hair up. We need to blast it down and keep it really smooth all the way to the ends. Once I've got the hair 90% dry, I then press the cool button on the hair dryer and it just sets it into place. That way then it really gives the hair some memory. And I think what I love about all these 90s looks is they were so bouncy and you could flip them from side to side. So make sure you set it on the cool button. It's a great way to really lock in your style. Okay, so you should get something that looks a bit like nice, smooth, kind of bouncy hair. You can see that the brush has lifted it from the root and gave you that voluminous effect. And then instantly with that carbon coating, it contains the kind of frizz and makes the hair look super shiny and glossy. Okay, so we're gonna carry that on throughout the whole head of hair. Okay, guys, so once you finish the side, I always like to, to kind of keep all of the work in. Just take the whole side section, wrap it around your fingers in like a large coil, use a silver hair clip, and then just literally hold it into place. That kind of lets it set while you blow dry the rest of the hair and you can move on to the back and the other side and stops it from dropping out. All right guys, so the four sections are in, so the two either side and the back, and we just put that clip in to hold. I've left this for like five minutes for it to set. You should get something that looks a bit like this, so kind of, it, it really enhances the blow dry and makes it set into place, and you'll be amazed at how much bite this has and how bouncy the hair is once it's done. If you just let it drop, trust me, the blow dry won't last as long, it won't look as hot, and you definitely won't have as much bounce. So you should effectively have something that looks a bit like this. But to get that 90s blowout look, you're kind of looking at getting that bend here. So what we're gonna do now is use some Velcro rollers to really get some kind of va boom But you can already see how beautiful the hair is. And with that carbon blow dry, it really smooths out the cuticle of the hair and gives it a great shine. So this is kind of the trick. Just take um, your first section and then we're gonna use a big, large self-stick roller. See these ends here, make sure they're nice and smooth. These are great because they effectively just stick into place like that. And we're gonna just literally carry them on throughout the part. You don't even need to use a comb, don't get too crazy. You've already spent your time blow drying. It should wrap around the hair really nicely because you've already done the blow dry. So the hair's already bent, so it should just kiss around the roller. At this point, you don't need to worry about being too perfect with the positioning of the rollers. Really what we wanna do is just enhance what we've already got. All right guys, so these are all in. Um, we're gonna leave them for like 10, 15 minutes to really set the hair. So I guess you can get yourself some um, supermodel glam done. Okay, so we take the last roller out. You should get something that looks a bit like this. And so now what I'm gonna do is take my ball bristle brush um, and I'm gonna brush this through. But already you can see it's got a great amount of volume. So we're gonna brush it through. And then what you'll get is this explosion with like full on 
bounce and kind of glamour. Now what I like to do at this point is just tease the hair and give it a little bit more of that kind of 90s feel by backcombing it. Now the 90s always had that kind of really nice lift at the front, that kind of pop of colour. So you can see when you put the roller in at the front, you effectively get rid of like a part. So you can wear it from one side to the other and the hair's super kind of flexible, which was very kind of 90s. You know, the 90s kind of supermodel was this kind of bouncy hair that moved from side to side. It didn't really matter what way you put it in, it kind of just looked good. Good little trick for some more volume. I'm gonna use my tail comb and I'm just gonna lift the hair up and just tease it at the root slightly. So just mainly at the root, don't do it at the ends because we've already got the volume. This is great if you do want to wear it over to the side and you want to kind of create a little bit more lift and a bit more hold. So just tease it and then kind of flip it over and you'll get that super kind of like models. I can tell you're feeling yourself there. Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see from the blowout, which is probably the most important part of it, that you get this super shiny kind of look and the hair's full of vibrancy. And that's my favorite part. Like I think I'm known for like bouncy, hair or hair that's got a good quality to it. So I'm all about products that make the hair super smooth. So I love the fact that the dryer has that carbon technology, which really kind of helps to give that smooth finish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of hairspray. I like to use the cool favorite from Color Wow. I'm gonna spray it on my brush and just kind of open up these sides a little bit. So open up the face. Sometimes I like to use these little clips. You can just kind of hold it in place. So it sets for a minute. It's always nice to open up the face because it stops it from looking 40s and keeps it in that kind of 90s glam vibe. Just gonna finish off by using the Leandro straightener. This is great because it's temperature controlled. So because she's got the highlights in the hair and it's kind of got a lot of color on, I'm gonna turn the temperature down, which is a great trick for anyone that has highlighted hair, colored hair, sensitized hair, or fine hair in texture. What I like to do is I like to just run it over the top of the hair for a little bit more shine. So just to give it that polished look and stop the hair from looking dry, just go over the top. You see it instantly smooths out the hair, especially where I did the back combing. All right, so we'll take these clips out. And there you have it. This is the ultimate bombshell 90s look. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you next time.